Hi everyone, this is David Washington from DWCares.com. Today I'm just going to quickly show you how to add pull to refresh to your HTML5 Windows 8 application. Super easy to add this. This is the Twitter app. Sometimes it's really nice to have pull to refresh in your view instead of just having a refresh button. And I'm going to show you how to do that without writing a lot of code using a NuGet package that I created. So uh, this is a little sample app I put together called Fruit Viewer. It's just a really basic list view, uh, WinJS list view with the SDK sample fruit uh, in it. But this could be any vertically scrolling content that you've got um, or a list view um, is a common case for that. So the first step uh, to actually add this is to go to manage NuGet packages and you get this really handy dialog you can add all these NuGet packages but I'm just going to search for touch controls and there we are touch controls DW cares that's me uh, you can actually click this project information link and it takes you to the github and I made sure to have all kinds of documentation on here about what the properties are uh, what methods are available uh, if I add any and um, sample code usage so um, feel free to check that out for now we're just going to click install and install is really cool because it just adds all that code right into your solution and you're ready to use it so as if as with any HTML uh, solution if you add a reference, add a code, you need to go add reference to it. So in this case, Touch Controls has CSS and JS files that we're going to use. So uh, let's just add a quick reference to them. Just Touch Controls uh, and Touch Controls.css. And same thing here Touch Controls and Touch controls.js. So that just gives us a nice handy reference to the actual code. Um, now that we have the, the reference in our HTML, we can just add the pull to refresh control. And I built it as a WinJS control using the WinJS control model. Really nice and handy because we actually don't even have to add any code in order to add pull to refresh to this app. So I'm just going to add a div uh, surrounding my list view and in that div I'm just going to give it an ID, uh, pull to refresh just kind of the, so I can reference it later and get events off of it and stuff. And then I just do data win control and I'm going to do touch controls dot pull to refresh. And right now I just have a, tuple, a couple of controls in this touch controls project, but I'll be adding more controls over time. Just uh, common, nice, cu custom touch controls that people are going to want. And feel free to send me an email uh, if you have requests for things that you want me to add. Um, so that's handy. Now we've actually instantiated the pull to refresh control around our list view. The only thing that we need to do before we can use this is do a quick edit of our CSS. Uh, we have a list view that has a height 100%. Uh, since we're editing the DOM and affecting the layout, we're going to just make sure that our pull to refresh control actually has the full height as well. So 100%. And we can actually go ahead and run the app now. Right off the bat, it looks just like our fruit browser before but when you get to the top you can see that right behind that you have pull to refresh and I've spent a lot of time kind of looking at the design and looking at how um, to implement this uh, without sacrificing performance so you can see that it sticks to your finger you release and it actually uh, gets into this loading state so the next step here is to actually make this refresh our list so let me show you how to do that. So let me just stop this code from running. Uh, where we're going to 
make this refresh is just in our JavaScript. So you can see I've got a little init, init function that gets called when the app is activated. When the user gets into that pull to refresh mode, I want to call my refresh data async function. And in this case, um, it's a promise that just waits for two seconds uh, and then updates the data. But you know, you can imagine that this was an async uh, XHR call to a server or getting some files from a file system or something. So um, uh, let's actually uh, add an event listener on the pull to refresh control. So document dot get element by ID. We're just going to grab pull to refresh. And we're just going to add an event listener. And it, what we're going to do here is add a custom event. There's refresh is a custom event that's fired from the pull to refresh control. Uh, when that refresh happens, I want to actually call an inline function here. And uh, what I'm going to do here is just call refresh data async. Okay, let's actually try this out. When somebody refreshes the pull to refresh control, then refresh the data. Let's take a look at how this looks right now. So, scroll, 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 pull, release to refresh, let go, waits two seconds, and there you go. The data refreshes. So, um, refresh is working, and that looks good, but you may notice one thing is still happening. The view is still in this loading state, um, which actually isn't correct because the refresh is completed. So um, what you can do is you can actually uh, call uh, into the control and just say refresh e equals false. But um, I hooked up a really handy uh, pattern that lets you take advantage of a promise. So on the event handler, on the event handler detail, you can just say set promise. And that actually lets you pass in the promise that is a long running operation. So in this case, I just pass in the refresh data async promise that's returned here, and that will automatically handle all of the refresh delays. So let me just show you what that looks like here. Pull to refresh, loading, two seconds, boom, perfectly refreshed. And you can see if this was a shorter time, let's say we made this one second instead of two seconds, um, this will dynamically change how long it takes to refresh based on how long that promise takes to return. So it's kind of designed around real world kind of refresh scenarios. So uh, that's what I had for you. Uh, go to dwcares.com dw to see the code uh, uh, that I showed you today uh, and where to get the NuGet package. But uh, hopefully you can easily add pull to refresh to your application.